All right, today we're going to learn how to use a spreadsheet to manipulate the data we collected in the uh, mitosis lab. All right, now this is the spreadsheet. If you click on the link in Moodle, you'll get to this spreadsheet. And we're going to look through, and this is all the data. All right, and comes all the way down here to the bottom. Kelsey Christian was able to find uh, six cells that were in telophase. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this all the way up to the corner until everything highlights all the way up. And now I selected everything. Now I can either go Control C or I can get Edit Copy. I'm just going to go Control C. Now what I'm going to do is this is on the web. What you guys need to do is you need to either open up Excel if you have Excel at home and you want to do this at school, or you can go and download Open Office at www.openoffice.org, or you can log into your own Google spreadsheet. Um, at, at school, uh, a free Google account, and do it there. All right, there's, so there's several different ways of doing it. I'm going to do it in Open Office. So I'm going to open up Open Office here. The commands are going to be very similar to whichever one you use. The reason I recommend Open Office is it lives on your computer and you can use it um, um, and you can get it for free. All right, so I'm just clicking on this and it's opening up. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this first cell. Now I copied everything. I'm going to click on this first cell and I'm going to hit right click and go paste and it's going to say how do you want to put it in I'm going to say I'm going to put in Unicode and it has all the information and what it's going to do is it's going to split everything up like this all right very simple very easy it looks beautiful all right um, I actually don't think this first row is really doing me any good the times everything downloaded and it's just pushing everything over so I'm going to click on the first letter column A I'm going to right click and I'm going to go delete column and that brings that over and now this next column with the people's names actually isn't overly useful either, although why don't we just keep that there? We're just going to minimize it just in case maybe we want to go back and find out some information from those people. Now the other thing I like to do is I'm going to click on the first row and I'm going to go to bold and I'm going to make it bold. Now the reason I'm doing that is because that makes it um, easier to read, but it also tells the spreadsheet that this is in fact a title column. And then I'm going to just click in between two cells, two rows, I'm sorry, two columns, I'm going to double click and that will spring everything out so that it all fits nice and even. Actually, I'm going to have to highlight the whole sheet, click in between two columns, and boom, everything pops out so it's nice and big. All right, so you see, this is my spreadsheet. It goes all the way across. It's a little bit bigger now than it was before. All right, I think I might actually just drag this over so it's a little easier to see the rest of the columns. And actually, I'm going to drag the plant or animal cell thing over too. You don't need all of that. And then now you can see all the different cells. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate how many of each kind of mitosis, uh, phase of mitosis we have. And I would like to put that at the top of this slide only so it's easier for us to find. So I'm going to right here, click at the top, right below the, co the title column on row two. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a row. As a matter of fact, I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert two rows. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sum up all of the different totals for interface. So the way you do that, there's a couple of ways. You can use the letter sigma, okay? You type in equals, and then as you can see on open office, there um, what we can do is we can just type here and we can type in the word up in the toolbar. We can type in sum, open parenthesis, and then I can just scroll down, click on the first cell, and then stroll all the way down until we get to the bottom cell and then hit enter and what you will see is there's the grand total 1655 now I could do the same thing for each one type in equals sum okay open parenthesis and then click on the top row cell and go all the way to the last cell in that row and hit enter and boom it adds it adds up everything in that row but there's a much easier way of doing it. Once I've added the sum for the column, I can just click on the cell, click on the lower right-hand corner, and drag it all the way across like this, and it automatically does what's called a relative drag fill. All right, when you notice when I type on the first one up here in the toolbar, it says sum of D4 to D33. But when I drag it over, what it does, it automatically updates what row I'm talking about. This is the sum of E4 to E33. This is the sum of F4 to F43. This is the sum of F4 to G33. And it does a relative drag fill all the way across. 
Now, so that's pretty cool. But one of the things I said is, okay, well, we got all these different numbers here. We know, and one of the things that's very obvious is, geez, there's a lot of cells in interphase, very, 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 very few cells in anaphase. Let's do a little bit more, though. Let's drag over to the furthest column over here. And what I want to do is I want to add up all the cells in each one of these columns. So again, I'm going to type in equals, open parenthesis, whoops, equals, sum, and then open parenthesis, and then I'm just going to click here on 115 and drag all the way across this way and hit enter, and boom. So we find out as a total, the total number of cells that were counted in all the slides was 2,402. And the good example of the the old adage, "Many hands make light work." We, we had all the, the all the kids in every class counted just one slide, and we came up with that many different counts. So that's really good. All right, that's a good heavy amount of data that we can work with. All right, now the first thing I want to do is I want to find out I have 1655 cells in interphase and a total number of cells in um, that we counted. So the question is, how many? What percentage is 1655 of 2004. Now, as you remember, you do the percentage. The percentage is always is over of. So now we could just type in the numbers, but it's much easier if we grab the cells. So in order to figure out the percentage of cells in interphase, and as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go up here at the top of this column. I'm going to type in these are the totals. And then right above that, I'm going to write in percent so we know what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what is over of. Okay, so I'm going to type in equals because it's a formula. I'm going to click on this cell 1655, which is cell D3, and then I'm going to drag all the way to the end, and I'm going to click on. I'm going to go divided by, which is a slash, this cell, and I'm going to hit enter, and it gives me a decimal, which is 0.69. But as you know, in order to actually calculate a percent, you take the decimal and you click on this little sign for percent and boom 69.68.9 percent all right now we could once again type in the same formula over and over again 432 is what percentage of this number over here but an easier way of doing it is to do a drag fill but unfortunately when I go to do a drag fill something weird happens watch what happens I'm doing a relative drag fill I'm hoping that it's going to update everything but you notice this says, wait a minute you divided by zero you can't do that and the reason is this cell is 13 oh, D3 divided by I3, but this cell is E4 divided by J3, and that's not what I want. I want all of them to be divided by this number right here. So how am I going to get them all to be divided by this number right here, which is I3? Well, there's a very simple trick for that. I'm going to go back to this original cell here. And instead of going D3 divided by I3, I'm going to go D3 divided by dollar sign I3. I'm going to hit enter. And then that dollar sign says, OK, we're going to do a relative drag. As you drag it across, we're going to update the cell. But we're always going to divide by I3. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to click and drag that across like that, and boom. And you see the nice percentages here. You notice the longest phase is interphase. You've got 68% of the cells are in that phase. 20%, close to 20%, 17.99% are in prophase. Then metaphase, then telophase. And the shortest and quickest phase is anaphase. All right? So you guys, I want you all to do this data, and then we're going to discuss the data in a little bit, a little moment. What we're going to do in the next part of this video is we're going to talk, we're going to talk about how you can separate and do separate calculations for animal and plant cells.